In the late 1970s, Dr. Verna Gibbs graduated from Duke University Medical School after attending Harvard College. She was the first black woman chief resident in surgery and went on to become the first black woman professor of surgery at the University of California in San Francisco. Today, she's a general surgeon performing operations to fix all different parts of the body. Dr. Gibbs met with she heroes and shared what inspired her to go into medicine and what challenges and successes she's faced along the way. My father was the first black man to ever be a surgical intern at this large hospital in Jersey City, New Jersey. And he wanted to have a practice. And in those days, they had practices in their homes. My father decided that he had wanted to have his house on the part of town where all the other doctors had their homes. They were black, of course, and at that time there was uh, discrimination. When the neighbors found out that there was a black family that was going to be moving into this house, the neighbor next door to us built this big stockade fence between my backyard and the neighbor's backyard. My parents were rightfully fearful for our safety, but the world that we created in our backyard was very much a world unto our own through the games that we would play and how we survived in this particular neighborhood at those particular times. When I uh, was growing up as a child, a lot of what I was always encouraged to do was to explore. And my parents, both my mother and my father, were very much based in this idea of, of having to think about things. I grew up at a time when there were role models for boys and there were role models for girls. And actually, it was really easy for you to find ways to explore if you were a boy. In fact, you were encouraged to explore if you were a boy. One of the things that I really remember, my brother got a chemistry set. My brother was not interested in chemistry. I used to stealth play with his chemistry set when he wasn't around. And in fact, then I decided that I would become a doctor. I wanted to become a doctor. I was in the ninth grade about this time, and everybody would say, oh, you want to become a doctor just like your father. I would say, well, no, not really, because my father um, wasn't really interested in whether or not I became a doctor. I know that he was really interested in my brother uh, becoming a doctor, but it didn't really matter what I did because I was a girl. So it was something that I wanted to do pretty much on my own. One of the areas that I have always been fascinated with is the human body. And I actually love to see how human bodies function. I, I like athletes, I like to see how their muscles work and musicians, how do they play and swimmers. And I think that this was kind of a natural expression for me to like the nature of medicine and specifically surgery, not so much the cutting, but what's really great about surgery is that it's very centered around decision making and it's very action oriented. In, in medicine and other fields, sometimes you spend a lot of time thinking about what you could do or giving pills for the patient. Whereas in surgery, you're decisive. You have to make a decision and then you get to do things. So my love of the body and anatomy and this other part of my personality is something I found very rewarding uh, through my work. One of the things that I am uh, incredibly proud of and is incredibly important to me is my my family and I have a daughter myself and she is named Verna. I named her after my mother and that's because I was named after my grandmother. So actually there are three Vernas and every generation there have always been three Vernas. Mm -hmm. It's important for kids to know where they come from and you don't have to have the same name as your parent but you got to know where you come from and that's an important thing and one of the things that I've always worked with my daughter on is uh, is where she comes from and where she's going to go. At 
a trailblazer in the medical field, we asked Dr. Gibbs to share with us some advice on how to be successful in life. What's really important to do is to, is to continue to play. And uh, this is something that gets lost because everybody's so busy emphasizing get a job and you have to work. But we are mammals and one of the characteristics of mammals are as they play. And playing is how you learn. But when you play, you have to develop relationships and you build skills that's in working with people. So the nature of play is very important to young people. And I can't stress enough and encourage you enough to play sports, to play with each other, and even to play um, in how you form ways of building relationships.